Hi, welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your first application using Fuse on OpenShift. And before we go ahead, please make sure you have already installed the um, Red Hat Container Development Kit. If you have not, please follow the links and instructions on the website. And then I'm going to download the JBoss Developer Studio, which is the tool that we use to start writing our application. And once you've done um, downloading the jar file, uh, if you're using Windows or uh, Mac, you can, uh, you can bring it up or execute it by running the jar launcher. Or if you're using Linux, just uh, run it with the command java-jar. Then once it's uh, started, it's going to guide you through the installation steps of how to install JBoss Developer Studio. And here I'm just entering where I wanted to install my application, my my toolings and um, just follow along by default and make sure you have um, Java uh, 1.8 version to run this. And this is the important part, make sure you click the um, JBoss Fuse um, plugins because that actually enables you to have all the plugins needed um, for creating applications for Fuse. And then click finish It's going to start the developer studio. It's going to pop up a window asking you where you want to work on as the workspace. And I'm going to create a demo directory right under the workspace that's provided. And then you can decide whether you want to provide anonymous um, user statistics um, to Red Hat. And after that, I'm going to show you how to set up the Maven repository. So the Maven repository, um, if you install it correctly, it should be under your user directory. And under that user directory, uh, there should be a .m2 folder. And if you go into inside to that folder, um, you should be able to see a settings.xml. It is okay if you don't see it because you probably installed it fresh. Um, just go ahead and create one if you don't see it. There are three different repositories that you need to install. First of all, the Maven Central, which is crucial to everybody. And then you need to connect to two different other repositories. First one is Red Hat GA, and the other one is Red Hat Early Access. And here I'm just organizing everything into different profiles. I'm calling this product page demo, and I'm adding this um, demo that I've, or this profile created into the active profile tag underneath the settings or XML, that's this this way now it will become an active one. So now everything is set, it's time to start up the um, container, developer container environment in my local laptop. To do that, go to the server, double click on server, and it's going to take you to an overview page. In that overview page, um, there's a username setting, click on that and enter your um, username and password that you log into um, developers.redhat.com and this credential is going to get you started on you know downloading all the necessary bits and pieces um, from the internet all the docker images and stuff like that and it's going to take um, a minute or two to actually start out everything and download everything Once it has finished starting, go back to the OpenShift Explorer page. And here you will see all available projects that's available inside your developer's container environment. And here I'm going to create another project, um, a totally new project, um, just for demo purpose. So for the name for this, um, I'm just going to call it Demo Project. And I'm going to give a demo project for the display name and the description. And what this does is going to go ahead and um, create a project for me inside my um, OpenShift local uh, container, developer container environment. And now I can start um, creating my first application. So right click and click on others. And you will find, uh, type in Fuse in the wizard and you'll, you'll see a Fuse integration project. Just follow along the instructions um, from the hello world in developers.com and I'm going to do that too. 
So I'm just going to call my application demo app. And I'm going to choose the right um, camel version. And this is the important part. Make sure you choose the right templates to generate your project. And here I'm using Fuse on OpenShift, which is using the Spring DSL. And what this does is going to create a structure and sample code uh, for your first Fuse application. And it's, it's going to ask you to go to the Fuse perspective. I'm going to say yes. You don't have to do that, but it's, it's probably more convenient because we're de um, developing a Fuse application. So take a look at the, the folder structure of um, Fuse. And on the right-hand side or the center of your canvas, you will see a camel routes. So I'm, I'm going to start deploying my camel routes um, by going into Maven build. And then here, there's something that I need to do is I need to tell them where my user setting is, which I previously put it in my um, local user URL. It's under Maven settings and stuff like that. And tell the Maven tools where to deploy my application. And this time, I put it into my demo project. and please give a basic, a basic authentication ID and password that you see when you start up the container, the platform container platform. And I'm using developers, developers, because that's what it tells me to. And uh, also make sure that you get the uh, Kubernetes master, right, which is the URL of um, uh, where you start your container platform. And once it's done, we wanted to check if um, this application has successfully deployed to our local container platform. Um, so go to a, a, the console by accessing the, through your browser, and then go into the demo project and see if it's running. And there you are. That's your first application.